there is no conceivable way that any current Israeli government, and certainly not the Netanyahu government, could agree to this. As you absolutely rightly say, Netanyahu has already rejected, has just rejected. All right, let's... Uh... KYP is looking good. Where'd you see KYP? Where'd you say KYP? All right. Um, I felt very blessed and very lucky to be able to go to Mass today at uh, uh, the Cathedral of St. Matthew's. Darn it. Nothing in my life is working any. <laughs> All my equipment is ceasing to work. <laughs> so I'll just, just have to live without it, I guess. It's not meant to be. Um, too bad. It's just too bad. So it'll be dark. Anyway, um, uh, we have to get another lamp. I was, I, I felt very lucky to be there and uh, it was beautiful. Uh, Cardinal uh, Gregory. Oh, Gay. Okay. I can't speak anymore. It's now going to be a filibuster oh, from him. Andy. All right. Hang on a second. All right. You're live. Hold on a second. Hi, William. I'm going to make an announcement here to everybody. And uh, again, this is not the buy or sell, but uh, considered that we had a good day today on a weird name, we have now been, uh, we're ready to go to South Korea. I raised uh, 50 grand and pack your bags. We're going. All right. All right. So welcome aboard. Figure I'm out. I'm going to cross the. I'm going to go cross the border into North Korea and say <laughs> hi to Sun Jin Ju, Xi, Kim, Kim. So when you learn about Wall Street, I tried to help you an example with, uh, with uh, you know, a, a reverse, reverse, uh, a restock reverse, you get wiped out. A forward split, you're not wiped out, you're still alive, and the game still goes on. So those are the two examples, all right? Reverse, you got zero. Forward, you saw the thing almost squeeze yesterday, pull back, and then it's, you know, we'll see what happens in the next leg of this journey. Then I reported about an IPO. For those who don't pay attention, I spoke about it yesterday. For two days, I've been speaking about it, how it was a new IPO on Thursday. It got slaughtered down, and we all thought, Hey, it's got to go at least back to seven. And then I said yesterday, the next leg of an IPO is going to be news. Well, the short seller that was laying into it, he seems to uh, have a problem today, right? It is $20.72 and it's halted. So, so imagine me having a friend of mine that bought 100,000 shares on the dip. We bought 100,000. Did he buy the I dip? Has he sold the rip? Oh, hang on, hang nice. on. Yeah. That day it was traded down on the 300,000. We all knew yeah. that that didn't make sense. And we're waiting for the news, and the news didn't come, but we got the short squeeze instead. Because we knew somebody made a terrible mistake here, and now they're paying it, and, it got, and they got roasted. Yep. So from, for helping out, they donated 50,000 for us to go to Asia. And uh, you know, if KYP was free, we would take her with us. We need a pretty girl with us, so but she's busy with her mom. KYP, you're out. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go, and I, you know, that's that's Wall Street. People are help, supporting us, trying to help us make things happen, and we're gonna be off to the races. All right, that's what I wanted to let you know today. All right, that's how it goes. That's the game. KYP. Right. PYT. KYP. So um, anyway, the uh, let's go back and look at the other situations that we're in. I haven't really paid attention. I've been running around. 
Uh, ZJYL, I don't see any action today. Down 19 cents on 266,000 shares. 20 to 1, what is that? Uh, 40,000 shares? What, I don't even know what it is. 40,000 shares? That's equivalent to 40,000 shares if anyone's paying, reading the scorecard. All right. It might even be that. less. It's 26,000 divided by two. Might be 12,000 shares. I, I don't know. Whatever it is. Whatever let me number. look at Let me use a computer. Yeah, it's like 13,000 shares pre -split. That's all that's traded today. So if people say the big guys got out, they did not. It's pretty easy. Just do the math. It's pretty easy. The bashes were pissing on me last night about TELO. I'm pumping it, dumping it. Bah, 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 uh I just think I think I showed you how Wall Street thinks. I gave you another free lesson that you won't get from the Harvard Business School. All right. This is from the front line of trading. You got to think like a trader. IPO comes out at seven. They knocked it down. All the bashes, what everybody's going to sell. It's a shitty IPO. And yeah, companies go public just because they want to be shitty IPOs. Well, this one shows you that what happened and uh, it's completely reversed and roasted some company, whoever's here. They have a big problem and they're being bought in. And guess what? Well, you, if everyone's paying attention, you got to see it from start to finish. Yeah, exactly. You know, you got to see the whole thing from start to finish. You saw the short come in. There were no shares. They laid into it and now they got roasted. That just shows you how criminally insane these people are. All right, so they're just going to catch a beating here. I don't know. Let's say they're short up, you know, I guess a couple of days of volume. They're short 500,000 shares, whatever it's been in here. You have so, a couple of people here who traded TLO. I think more than just two. They're thanking you. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And like, again, make your own decisions. Understand what you're doing. There's always signs on Wall Street. You just got to think. It's not easy all the time. You know, an IPO, it, you know, I know it. I've seen it. IPOs, everyone says, oh, it's a busted IPO. They always turn and they go right back to the IPO price. Because that's and then, supposedly the mandate of the overpaid wankers is to get it back to their price they set anyway. So. Anyhow. So, that, so there you go. They trapped somebody. And you know what? I hope you learned a lesson about that. Wow. <laughs> King Arthur is saying the TLO bid and ask is 98? Or are you bullshitting me? I don't see that. But is, if that's possible, it's 98. I don't it, I don't show any bid or ask on my screen. Hold on. Let me... That would be un-effing believable. Your friend would have to hit the bit. <laughs> that would be too, too exciting. Yeah, I, I, this guy's a longtime listener, and uh, he shaves his beard. Is it really ninety-eight bit? I don't no. see it. What he's saying, I he might have level two. I don't have level two. I mean, look, I do have a level of something. Um, I see a $35 bid and a $35 ask is what I see on market depth. 35 by 35. That's unbelievable. I wish I had bought 10 shares. All right, let's not talk about it. That's the way it goes. I'm glad people here bought it. I'm glad they bought it. There you go. That's how it works. I'm just trying to teach you. I'm not here. I'm not here as your money manager. I'm here to teach you. Well, Little Green Candles, uh, going along with King Arthur, she says it was 98. Kit Kitteridge is saying now it's 2209. But I'm seeing 35 by 35 in my... Someone is, this is what you're seeing is someone being bought in. And that means buy it, buy it, buy it. They're broke and they have to cover. How many that's shares? 300,000, you figure? Well, I don't know. It just, it, today, they could have been selling it all up, you know, up to 10, and then they finally folded. So it could be another 100, it could be 500, 600,000. I see 35 by 35 right now. And we own 100 of it. How's that one? 
Um, Did you hear what I said? No, but say that again. I said, we own a hundred thousand. I know it's amazing. I'm I'm so happy for everybody. I, you know, I wish I had done it, but that doesn't mean I'm jealous. Well, I am a little jealous, That's but not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. Let it let yeah. it go. Not in a bad We're way. going to. I just told you wonderful news. We're going to go to South Korea. We're going to put your dog in the Four Seasons in D.C. and uh, we'll make one of the bashes. We'll tie him so the dog Lucky can watch him. We'll make the dog watch the basher all day. Great. Uh, so we're going to South Korea. We gave you an idea. People making money. Congratulations. Let's move on to what we're really here for is for finger motion in GTI. 29 by 29. So they're, they're, or, you know, they're. Well, they're looking for their bidding and someone comes in to sell it. They drop in the bid. They'll come to a price. It's negotiated. This is a gray market for people in MMTLP. This is what a gray market looks like. This is what it's going to look like. Only you won't be able to see it. Anyway, uh, you just look at the two names that we're in, and they both, one of them acted strangely today, had a quick move to 250. All right, then it got smashed back down. If you said to me, what do I think? It looks like think? it's warming up. <laughs> What do you think? I think it's warming up. Twenty-eight ninety-nine by twenty-nine. Now twenty-nine by twenty-nine. It seems so unfair that they halted and get to collect their thoughts. My friend, my friends, like they trying to open it up, so they have stock out there for sale. So, hey, listen, let's let's move on. It's, it's you know, we're not in it. And uh, let's move along. So, let's look at the uh, let's look at the two names that we've been following. Again, there's naked shorts everywhere, and. Uh, <laughs> The naked shorts everywhere. The opportunities come when they come. That's just the way it goes. So I'll just go back and recap. GTII, we know it's 450 to 500 million shares naked short. The real short is still 500,000 shares. I don't know who in their right mind would be staying here doing that. But it's, it quietly, let's see what the company does. Or if MMTLP gets some action in D.C. or the FBI or Secret Service or you know, articles or whatever it's going to come out. All right, so there's my GTI report. I can't say much about a stock that's trading up and down a penny. All right, I can't, there's nothing to say. 100,000 shares, nothing's traded here. Yesterday when I told you, they washed it. But I'm looking at finger motion. Finger motion had a, something strange today. And it popped and it was pushed back down. And we last time when William did the uh, interview, it went to 277 and they pushed it back down again. It looks to me like the doors, the banging on the doors and the gate's going to open soon. That's what it looks like to me as a trader. <laughs> Some people have put up on Twitter, it looks like the selling has dried up. We've been saying that also. But if, I think that. Uh, I think that uh, this thing is is warming up and getting ready to go. That's my opinion of it. They can't get out. There's fundamentals here. The earnings are coming out again. It's, you know, they got that weird end of the year, William. I can't remember what he said. Well, what he said is that <laughs> his um, fiscal year ends in February or March. So you mm -hmm. that's in 24. So that makes the whole year 2024 looking backwards. So we're coming Weird. up on we're coming up on the dividend, the the uh, the year end results. I guess was that what you said? The year end. That's the fourth quarter is right now, and it'll be the two thousand and twenty four, which is their their last year, because right. it ends in twenty four. Right, so they call it twenty four. The information's coming out soon about yeah. that. And let's see if they have anything else up their sleeve that they can drop on us. You know, it's not a company that's sound asleep. I think they're moving mm -hmm. and grooving, and let's see what they can do. Mm 
Exactly. So there's my opinion on it. A GDC is just under accumulation. I bought stock yesterday at 218. But my daughter paid 218 for it yesterday, and I'm willing to sit and watch. I have my other daughter, friends, we own it at 380. So I'm just sitting there watching and waiting on that one. When it goes, it goes. You just don't know when it's going to go. T-E-L-O, we didn't know when it was going to go. It went in three days. In four days, it happened. All right. You can't have them all, but you got to start. You got to be in them. To, you well, I'll tell you, to win this it. one will give some confidence to some of your friends. And maybe it. Listen, my friends have confidence. Listen, you guys don't know me. My friends have confidence in what I what we do. I don't just throw the shit against the wall and hopefully it works. I don't do that. But what I mean I is at, it might I don't look roll over. By the way, wait a second. I don't look at volume and say, oh, this is going to run this big volume. This, I, I don't look at that. I look at data and I look about what they're doing. That's what I look about. So, again, finger motion has all the signs that I look for in the stock. We caught the short. We all know who it is. And that's what I follow. And they pushed it down on fairly. The selling has, there's no selling at all in the name. All right. And like the wind, it's going to, when it turns, it's going to run. All right. So this is, that's what I see. And, you know, that's, that's what I can tell you. GTII, I think we're waiting for it. Uh, and we need an event from the company. And uh, we need an event from the company or some, uh, some, something from the outside world to make this uh, light up. I don't know what it's going to be. There's many, 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 uh, many matches. Up. I think MSCO exposing the crooks in DC will will change the world. I think that's the most important thing. But again, GTII. Uh, me and William did an interview yesterday. William, he said that uh, he usually does 20 minute shows. Correct podcast. Well, he he said to us today that he's going to delay the issuance from Saturday till next week, and he's considering showing the entire interview uninterrupted. So that's an hour, and I I, I think we touched on all the little things that we want to know about in there. And uh, I'm actually having lunch with him tomorrow. So again, I will make sure he's fully educated and understands everything about this crime before he moves an inch further. And I think he's starting to understand everything about it. So I think it's moving, it's moving in the right direction. And uh, you know, I showed him my idea for the exchange. I showed him the video. I showed him what we wanted to do. I showed him my TV asset. I showed him a lot of things. So he understands it. Actually, one of the people that he he loved working with when he was at CNBC, I've, I'm good friends with. So he, we all have the same relationships. So it's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is good that you know that people that when you when you work with people and you know and you treat them fairly and you do the right thing, you, you don't get. You don't get called a scumbag, pump, or whatever you these degenerates call. Yeah, imagine, imagine what's going to happen to uh, uh, Jeff Easton when he's sixty years old and someone asks about him. They're going to say, "Oh, what a jerk he was." Yeah, no, listen, he, he should grow a beard and leave. <laughs> he should get the hell out of here, go to Australia. But again, it's fifty-one. Oh, that's not it. Oh, god, god, I hit the wrong stock. I thought it was fifty-one. No, it's still twelve. But anyway, so again, I gave you my opinion. ZJYL, we're just following big people. Uh, you know, again, I know people that have been buying the dips when they sell, buy the dips, sell the rip. They're doing that. The volume is a non-event. GDC, I just been building and nice and easy, just sitting here, putting family and friends into it. And finger motion, we're loaded. And uh, I actually had a bit in at six thirty. You're my best. You're my best. All right, sorry. No problem. Just a, a YouTube. Do you have any questions? Anyone? Nothing? Yeah, there's some questions. Um, someone's asking, which stock were you talking about originally? That was T-E-L-O. Um, I've been talking about it since last Thursday when the ship opened up as an IPO at seven and they knocked it to four and a half. It's so bad you were distracting people. <laughs> Let's see, this is what happened. You get a trade, it energizes everyone, you know? 
Um, well, again, I, I, I listen. That trade for me, the trade is over. Yeah, it's happened. It's in play. Now yeah. we have to look for the next one. I'm not going to sit here having a, a party on something that's done already. We we've just got fifty grand, and we're going to South Korea to go see the regulators. We're going to go to Malaysia and South Korea, and I'll start working on that tonight. So I'll give you the dates. And pack your bag. We'll get some of the babysit the dog. We'll put the dog in a hospital so he gets. Good KYP treatment. says hello to you, and she says she before. Was out. I it already. She's out already. She's out. She said before you go, she wants to kick your butt in paddleball. Uh, she's lucky she's not around. We drag her with us. We get we need something to make us look look good. <laughs> it's not us, that's for sure. So the problem if you take her. By by, I'd I'd say about tenth of the way over the Pacific Ocean, she'd be bored with everything you're telling her. It same um, same I, patterns, same jokes, same stories. <laughs> the same jokes. I heard it, that. It, 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 she'd say, "I've already <laughs> heard that one. <laughs> I've heard it before." Well, listen. I hope your mom's doing well, and happy Valentine's Day to all the girls out there. And uh, we'll just keep moving along. This is not it. I told you before. This is a uh, this is a war. It's not a battle. And you know what? We we have to keep going along. This is the way it goes. And trust me. You know, I wish everyone had TELO. I wish that was finger motion today. But we're working towards it, and you just keep working, and it's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Finger motion goes. We're going to GTII. Set it a thousand, make it a thousand and two times. So, you know, as long as my troops, my people keep making money, we'll keep supporting and buying and keep accumulating and just until it happens. We'll just Abbott doesn't think ZJYL is going to go. Well, anyway, he's welcome to his opinion. It's not really, I, I don't know what he bases that on. If it's charts, how does it, how do you show in your uh, chart listen, that there's a ten make, million share? You make your short. own listen. You make your own determination. Yeah, yeah. It's a forward split. Everyone on this phone call, the most I could see someone owning was a hundred shares, which is now what two thousand shares, right? No, two hundred thousand shares, right? Are you no, well? One, you got a thousand shares. If you had a hundred shares, you got two thousand shares. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought so. You know, I don't know anybody buying big. The big play is. Told you my friend's got 25,000 shares. They had to sell the share. Yeah. When it was 300, they didn't sell it. They're not selling it at whatever price it is $9. Yeah. What was that? 20 times 9, 180. They're not selling it. Yeah. Yesterday it was $11, $10. $10 is $200, right? They didn't sell it. So when it goes, it's going to go. That's it. They're trapped. Not only are they trapped, they're trapped. Uh, they're trapped more. This guy, Matt, bought 75 shares of TLO after hours yesterday. I don't remember what it was trading for, but you got a nice trade. I hope it opens up at 30 for you. Yeah. When you sell it, if you put it in there, if you want to sell it, put it in there and you pick a number. Let's say let's say you pick 25. So sell so seven, what does he say? 70 shares? 75 shares. 75 shares, you put it 25 limit. Put a limit. Don't sell it at the market. Say you sell 25, 75 shares at 25. If it opens at 30, you'll get 30. If it opens up 100, you get 100. And you can always change it. Let's say it opens at 20, you can always cancel it and then sell it at 20 if you like. But that's how you do it. So put your order in now, pick a number, draw a number, whatever number's in your head, and you pick it out, you put it down. That's it. Put it out there. Yeah, put it out now, particularly if you have a high number, because it's going to be lightning fast. You uh, got to you got to put it out there now. Put good until cancel GTC. Put it out now. Put it out now. Pick a number, and that's how you do it. And you can put more than one order. You've got seventy-five to twenty-five, twenty-five, twenty-five. All right, pick three numbers. If you sell twenty-five at twenty, you have all your money back, right? Yeah. Then you can sit there and say 25 at 30, 25 at 50, or something like that. What would you put a GTC out for ZJYO? Well, this is going to, that is not moving like this then. ZJYL, you saw it move yesterday. I think it's got to go past 15. So anywhere between 15 and, you know, going past 300, whatever, 15 is 300. Is that the number? Right. 
Is that where it was stalling Two before? Two times 300? 15 is 30. Yep, 300. So I, I would look for that. G the GDC, they said it was going towards 50. You know, get out at 25 if you like. I don't know. I hope it goes. I hope it goes to you know 10, 20. Who knows? I have no idea. I'm buying a stock that looks like it's washed out. Also, it's not. It's not, it's not doing anything. That's my bid in finger motion at 230. I bid for 2500. Looks like I bought 100. I don't know. Everybody's, I don't know. Everybody's watching it. Everybody's watching it. Yeah. All right, I'm bidding. I partially filled. Let's see what I. Bought. What did you bid for? I bought one share. <laughs> I tried to buy twenty five hundred at two dollars and thirty cents. And let's see, where is it? Which one? Finger motion. Excuse me. No. Oh. I'm going to show you. It's me. How do you know it's me? Watch it's this. It's so cancel. confusing. Watch. I'm going to cancel the two dollars and thirty cent bid. Canceled. Did it leave the bid? Let's see. It's they gone. have two bids at two thirty, not just one. There's two hundred shares, so I canceled the twenty four hundred. Now it's two twenty nine by two thirty one. One by six. Good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a smart ass now, and I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two thirty one. Because what's a penny at this late game? You just right? moved it to 232. You must have got oh, it. Are you kidding me? Did they really? It's 230 by 232, one by four. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just in now being a fool. I'm sitting here playing games for no for no reason. They heard you. It's that quick. I just bid 232. I'll they did 100 at 231 just now. Anyway, I just went to 232 bid. This guy says, I guess. go ahead. No, I, I just look to see if they filled me. I don't know. Filled that. Two, wait, I went to, but you're, everyone heard me say this, right? Yeah. They filled me at 2.3078. They didn't I want just to show to you. 30, I just want to show you that you just watched them naked short the stock to me. Yeah. I went to pay 232 and I was filled at 2.3078. How's that one? And you keep saying, oh, there's no naked shorts here. Really? Who would take the extra two pennies, right? That's what the game is about. But they didn't do it. They decided not to do it. Huh. Huh. All right. So you, everyone got to see it in real time. They Why would we brain it. donuts if there's <laughs> Kitty? Kitty says she's been to South Korea. They love donuts over there. Bring them some donuts. Then she says there are Dunkin' Donuts on every corner in Seoul. <laughs> So why would we bring? <laughs> you want us to bring a good donut. That's Maybe bring a good donut. Drink. Oh, that's good to know because I drink Dunkin' Donuts coffee. That's a good. That's good to know. Thank you. Well, I just again, I just showed you how I tried to pay two thirty two. They sold to me two thirty seven, whatever that number was. So they're naked shorting still out here. They don't want the stock to go up. So if anyone asks. If they still make a shorting, I just answered your question for you. They're trying to hold it down. And I've always been a believer when they when they don't want them, that's when you got to take it from them. You are it's quiet. being nefarious. I'm being nefarious. I'm, t I'm trying to buy it <laughs> when they're selling it to us. I'm trying to, we call this picking them off. I'm picking them off is what I'm trying to do. With one share? It's a hell of a pick move. I'm going to pick them off. Trust, trust me about it. Just keep an eye on T L E T E L O. Let's see that go, and you'll see uh, you'll see a different look in some of these or some of our names. So here's a long question that I think could stop after the fifth word. How can we educate Congress? Stop. 
Anyway, it says, how can we educate? It's a great question. I, I, I think that, I think when MMT OP is doing great, I think they need to get Congress and the Senate to go after the broker firms. I think they should keep up the, the story about going after the SEC and FINRA while they do roadblocks on you. <laughs> I, anyway, uh, I told my friend, I says, uh, I said, go in your bathroom and look in the mirror. And I said, put your finger on the tip of your nose and push it back. I said, that's what happens when you're a pig. <laughs> because now I have to go buy a new mirror. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how you got to learn to trade. You got to, when it goes, when the ducks are quacking, feed them. That means when the stock is going, you sell into it when you want to get out. When they're falling, you should be buying. It's the opposite way. Now it depends on the stock. If you're following your stock, and the, you know the information is what we're you know we're playing with, whatever the information may be, like in TLO, TELO, we had no fear of buying it because we knew we were right. Because no one making sure it's a stock down from seven to four and a half on the first day of trading, that was a gift. That was the easy trade. The hard thing was who knew they were going to squeeze it in two days or three days. I didn't, I didn't know that, but. We were waiting for news from the company. I said that yesterday, William, correct? Yeah. The next leg of an IPO is first it goes public, a couple of days quiet, and then news comes out. The news didn't even come out and it squeezed. That tells you somebody got roasted alive here and they will be flat broke by this afternoon. If not, they're broke already. They used the halt to talk to each other. 3304 by 3304. Listen, just open up, go, see you later, and we'll go. Uh, William, I, I just contacted my uh, my airline ticket broker, and I got you a beautiful seat and coach next to the men's room. Oh, perfect. I yes, hope and I sitting be, next I will to be, me. I will, I, to make sure that I'm fresh, I will be sitting in business class. <laughs> Nowhere near the bathroom. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I hope there's a a giant Samoan sitting in the seat next to me. <laughs> you know it's going to turn into Seinfeld. I'll be sitting with a beautiful model sitting next to me, and the bathroom's going to smell like an English garden, a rose garden. <laughs> Go back and watch that episode of Seinfeld. That's going to be your trip. You'll be Elaine. I'll be in the front like Jerry. Anyway, I'm excited about going. I'm going to prepare documents. I got to go to the printer, start getting stuff to hand out, our literature. And I'm going for the license for an exchange, and I will bury the U.S. equity markets, the SEC and FINRA. I will give them a full burial there. That's, that's a fact. Their embarrassment. If the SEC is trying to sway them in any way, we will make sure that doesn't happen. Any other questions? Um, uh, Kitty's never I told you I bought GDC. Guy. I told you I bought GDC yesterday at 218. I just told you I bought Finger Motion today at 230. And that leaves me in the account again after making sales. And the other thing, I have $3.73 for available for, you know, I got $3.73. You used to trade. 30 million at a time. Now you're trading. It's just a unit. Hey, you want to know something? It's just a unit. You, you, know what, you know what the best part about this is? Go out and try to make money with no money. See how good you are. That's right. And I know I'm good. At, I could turn this back into that. That's how good I am. And I don't want to be, oh, I'm not going to brag, but I have to. I'm going to buy one share at 232. And I just did I used every penny in the account. There's nothing left. <laughs> so this guy, I'm just going to quickly say something. This is a good guy. David is a good guy. He's a truck driver. Um, he just joined a space. And what did I, me, William, do to piss off a short? Look, I'm just going to quickly say something. Um, I'm not going to get upset at questions anymore. I'm going to ignore them. These guys gleefully 
these are really mean bullies. They gleefully set about attacking me and set about taking your money. I am going if I'm a if I make a quick decision to block someone, delete somebody, I make a mistake, I'm sorry, but I'm going to do it. I've always shown that I'm willing to answer any question, good or bad, because I'm not trying to hide from any bad questions. But from now on, if there's a bully and it's in my judgment, I'm not going to even warn them. I'm just going to delete them. Listen, they have conference calls at night and they're here just to aggravate you. They can say whatever they like about me. I could give a rat's ass. Oh, I don't care. I just don't want to get upset anymore on these calls because it's just There's no reason that, listen, they're buffoons. We've called them out a thousand times. Come meet us at the SEC. We'll all walk in with you. We'll walk into yeah. the FBI, wherever you want to go into. But you know, listen, yeah. end the conversation. I'm not here about these people anymore, about those criminals. They were pissing on me all over Twitter last night. Where is he? I told you I'm in Twitter jail for a couple of days. I can't get out. I tried. I tried to warn people about going to New York City and getting shot. And the next day, people got shot on the subway platform. I think they should give me a medal. I was predicting it. Instead, they banned me. They're showing 10 million shares available to borrow on ZJYL. (laughs) I think they're telling you there's 10 million share short position. They can't help themselves, but let you know. 40-minute hold on T-low hits a new low. T-low hits a new high. Um, Where is it now? I don't know where it is. I see 33 by 33, but it's not trading. That means on a hundred thousand shares, if he paid, let's say six dollars, that was six hundred thousand. Now he has three point three million. Three million. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Wow. And I've said it before. I can say it in many languages. If you'd like me to post on it, I can't speak all the languages. Yippee. But <laughs> the, the greatest. The greatest business plan on Wall Street is not inventing anything. It's just creating a short squeeze. That's the greatest business plan ever. GameStop was a store that was going out of business. That was years ago. It's still in business. It's worth billions of dollars. And it all came from a what? Short squeeze. That's it. And we are being blessed. You are being blessed with years of data. Do you names. think T Low went because we weren't talking about it live, and all the other ones are under pressure because we do talk about it live? No, T Low doesn't have. T Low does not have. It does not have a toxic a lender in there. That's the difference. Uh, yes, T Low yeah. has a naked short. A guys like Timothy Sykes who were trying to play games, you know, small players, and they were handed their ass, and now they're out of business. So this guy's asking you that. Ron's asking you, why is Tilo different than GTI Finger, ZYJL, or GDC? You no, just answered it. You answered it. Z, ZJYL had the same type of people short. Now it's 15 by 15. Can you believe that? They calmed the they calmed the storm by halting. It still doesn't make a difference. They have to buy it in. Anyway, the... Uh, the ZJYL had the same patterns. They were shorting it below 10, right? They got caught and they killed themselves up to 300, right? Or $500 on right. the wet. Those were not toxic lenders. Those were a group of shorts that just got run over. That's the same thing that's happened in TELO. It's not as big as the other one, but the, the, the short, you know, you, they, you just get ro- they get roasted. That's what happens. GTII has a syndicate or whoever it may be that's representing the Kramers and Alpine where they were shorting against the debenture and they were laughing, saying, OK, well, these guys, we, we have a debenture. The debenture's paid off and now they all got a problem. They can't get out of it. Finger motion, we have link partners. Toxic lender. They started shorting it. They were laughing. We'll short more. This company's never going to get any money. The thing busts out to 10. The company raises money. Pays them off, and now they're trapped. This gentleman now, says he saw a 241 bid on TLO. I, I, I didn't see it. So, all right, listen, I hope it just don't look at it. It'll go when it goes. No one here, if you have it, you have it. Why is it you're getting a lot of questions? Why is the halt for so long? And could it be for the rest of the day? 
I don't know, because there's someone that is going bankrupt, and this is how they <laughs> they don't know what to do. I guess you know. You remember, someone's someone's losing a lot of money. They're going to go bust, and whoever has the order is just trying to cover and save their ass. Because once you lose, like if it's me, once I lose all my money, then the the prime broker, whoever my prime broker is, they're taking the hit for this, right? They showed one so, share trading or bidding at 241. That's a lot. 241 would be out of this world, but I don't see that. I see 15. Uh, listen, there's nothing that you, you can't listen. Move on. It's just, it's, listen, people, if you're not involved in it, it's, it's move on. It's like a car crash. Just keep going. You know what? You don't want to be called a rubbernecker like KYP. She's a rubbernecker when she drives around in Brooklyn. She's looking for accidents and she can't help looking at now, it. Now, now. I'm only kidding. That's what they call a, someone who stops and looks and stops all the traffic, you know, driving around on the on the Belt Parkway or something. They look for an accident and they want to see what's going on. Never look. Drive right by it. So if you're not in it, you know what happened they when seven, they pushed it down, they got caught. Now you're seeing the upside. And uh, I hope it goes to the moon for anybody who's in it. That's it. There's nothing I can say. There's nothing to talk about anymore. It's over. Whatever it is, it's going to happen. You sure no use a lot of words to not talk about something. I just want to squash it. Move on. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I moved on. That's how Wall Street is. The trade's over with. Everyone who, for those who still own it, good luck. The rest of us that don't own it anymore, we sit there and say, okay, let's move on. What's the next one? Let's move on to different things. Yeah, what is the next one, by the way? What is the next one? I know I can't say a lot of names because I get scolded because everyone says no, you only have to, you can name. only talk you talk about one stock for the next month. Pick right, it. that's Pick it. it. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about T I M E. That's my stock. Time, it always goes up. It always goes up, time. During Actually, there the day. is a stock called Wait, there is a stock, T-I-M-A, now. Can you imagine that? What a, what a ticker. That used to be the biggest joke on Wall Street. What a ticker. It's called Clockwise, Core Equity and Innovation. Do they still TV. use UNCH? We used to tease about UNCH. No, there's no stock there. So I'm just going to go back to you know what I normally do. You know, if it's ZJYL, I'm watching it. Let's see what happens. It, you know, now it's green on the day, up and down. It's, remember, that is no volume from what the, you got to remember, this is the forward split. Nothing's really changed. The people that were still here are still here. Here's education. Educational I I question. Go ahead. Yeah. I interrupted you. Go ahead. Now I'm just recapping. Go ahead. Will they have to settle? my GTC order if the price goes through my highest yes. ask. Yes. It can't go past your order, your number. Without unless they take it. you out. The only exception, well, yeah, it can't go past it. The only possible way your order might not get filled is if it goes to your number and there's people in front of you. Right. Then you just have to ask for time and sales and well, that, again, that's most likely if you add an, I don't know what number it is, but whatever number you're at, it can't go above it. If it trades one penny higher than you, your broker owes you the report. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, all you have to know. That's exactly right. So if you um, open it at 25 and it trades at 2501 and they say, well, you didn't get done. So you couldn't print it at 2501 unless you sold it at 25. That's why you have to call them up. Your broker, E-Trade, Ameritrade, Fidelity, whoever it may be, will have to honor it. That's what will have. they'll have to take and make that sale, and it's their problem. Well, let's see what happens at three o'clock. Will they start trading? No, doesn't happen. Oh, I, I, anyway, I, I I don't want to sit and talk about that all day. I'll pass on that. You know the story. I hope it goes to the moon for anybody that's in it. This started out. If anybody was paying attention, we I've been reporting this since last Thursday. Correct, William? You have, and you said. I you recommended that it you said it would snap back to the offering and you said typically I, after that they have news and it runs and you also pointed out that's a large short position you know 300,000 shares so out of the gate they the created gate. they created a whole new float out of the gate think about that 
How crazy uh, is this it? guy's saying they have two blocking sell orders at 160,000 each at 15 on the NASDAQ. Unbelievable. That's what that 15 is. So they're just still playing. Well, it's okay. That makes it better. <laughs> so this guy says the buyer looks like he's in, in control in ZJYL, just pulling back to let the shorts hang themselves. Yeah, and, that's what it looks like. Listen, there's no selling. Yeah. When it goes up, there's the selling. They try to maintain it, but you know what? It keeps digging in, and when it digs in, it'll go. When it goes, I think GDC is going to go. That's what I you know. That was the that was the pattern that I saw. So I've been GDC. That's it. I was in GDC way before ZGL when it was 300. I so I didn't have the money to buy it. So what? I bought GDC. I bought the cheaper version. I don't get this. TD Ameritrade just removed the cash that was in my account from a sale of TLO. Why would they remove the cash? I just opened up a 14. Oh, so they got it. They got it down. Well, looks like somebody sold twenty thousand shares or whatever it is. Listen, it'll begin its it's it'll begin its charge back up again. But again, it's that. Listen, this is not for anybody to play here. So it's a dangerous game here. I, you know, who knows what's going on? This is for the big boys now. It's really trading rapidly now. They're going to try to hold it right here. I can't believe they get the advantage of halting trading and stopping a panic. Well, there's somebody short, so they have to cover. You can enjoy watching it up and down. Who cares? Uh, I'm not involved in it. And they, uh, I, not, Would not you sell business. here and move on at 14, 15? Listen, well, if you want the money, you take the money. If you want to stay and play the game, you play the game. I, someone's short here. It was just, you know, big, big, big boys look at this and say, okay, so if this thing was just 20 something bid and they're holding it here, obviously it's going to turn around and go back again somewhere at that level. That's how I look at it. But I'm not in the game of, uh, I'm not in the kamikaze trading mood anymore. <laughs> it's not my game. How uh, big is the Yorkville short in Wolf? Oh, 1 billion shares. 1 billion shares. And they're short at a dollar eighty six is the average. It's funny you asked that. I got that information this morning. It was hilarious that you asked that. No, that's pretty funny um, you asked that. Um, any update on law enforcement from this guy? Must he must? He's persistent. You're not. I can't. Get away I can't. From him. I can't go back to people about that. I just can't do it. I wish I could. I. I can't keep calling him up every day. Can you hurry up? Can you hurry? I can't do that. So, you know, it's a it's a, a black hole as we call it. They all know about it. There's shareholders on here that know the enforcement people. All right, that they brought him to me. So everyone's pretty aware of what's going on. And, uh, you know, Mark Brazil is very close with the fbi he introduced me to them so i mean they they listen to the calls i mean what else can i tell you when they when they act they act i can't do anything about that but me and william are leaving the country and that's good enough for me that's what i wanted You're to do never coming wait. back i i don't wait you know I just that'll show on. the shorts they won't have me to kick around again <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, not legal advice. We're they going to stay? We're, we're, we're traveling. We're leaving the country. Listen, if I was going to go and not go to South Korea, I'd be on. I'd be in uh, what's it call in Dubai on the beach. I wouldn't be. Uh, I wouldn't be sitting here telling me I want to go to South Korea because I, I think it's pretty cold there now. So it's not like uh, I'm going for a vacation. We're going with a mission, William. We're going to. We're going to take no prisoners. We're going there and going to bring them up to speed. We're going to change the world. Yeah, my friend just told me they put up 150,000 at 15. I'm going to start a <laughs> website named uh, Sussex.com and change the world. My friend said they put 150,000 up there at 15 to hold it down. That You, you are correct. 
This is a good point. Why, when you see a bid and ask at 33, shouldn't that be under? Yeah, but they halted trading. So that gave them time to bring it down to 14 with fraudulent selling. Nobody's selling 160,000 shares. It's only a million <laughs> shares out there. <laughs> They're sitting here. They got, they got a huge problem here. When the 150 disappears on the offer side, then I think uh, then I think uh, it'll be off to the races. So let's see. You know, again, we can't control the fraudulent, the spoofing, as you call it. There's a spoof, 150,000 shares to sell. And I did speak with people about this company, what they are trying to do, and it's very interesting. So you, I told you to read up about the company. That I will tell you to do. Read up what they do. They're trying to extend your life. They're trying to ex extend the hey, life. That's pretty pets. cool. We'll have to look for this Bill Cooper. There's a $2 bill hanging on the wall with his signature in the Limelight District of South Korea. I, is the Limelight District similar to a red light district? I don't think, I don't think I'll be, um, <laughs> I don't think that's where I'll be, but Anyway, if you tell I us will. where it is, I will. Oh, you will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> it's accepted. I'm looking for a new wife out there. I'm looking. I'm not for married a in South Korea. Good time. Yeah. Anything else while we're watching this nonsense go back and forth? Timothy Yikes is shorting stocks from Malaysia. All right. That's where he is. That's what this guy says. Hmm. I know a lot of people in Malaysia. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to know about them there. What do you see as the next catalyst for ZJYL? I don't know. I don't know what the catalyst has been the whole time. I have no idea. I put one ounce of energy in studying these two names. That's it. Someone I respect who, who plays big is in the names and I respect them. And that's the only reason I told you even look at it. They were doing a forward split. So we learned about a forward split. That was it. That's and at GDC, my friend bought a million shares and I, I assume that they're gonna come back for it because he hasn't sold it and he owns it at four and he's not concerned about it. So why would I be concerned? Uh, this guy's saying we're on the verge of a breakout, but I don't know which stock he's talking about. Oh, yeah, we're not. Pam doesn't know anything about that stock. You got your time. Um, T I do not know that stock. Whatever stock that was, I do not know it. Yeah, exactly. Um, That's it? No more questions? Yeah. Um, I, mean, I think it'd be sure. interesting to watch. The Any TLO update TLO. on law enforcement? I told you this guy, once he gets his teeth into a question or a story. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking in English. No, they do not tell you what they're going to do. I just hope they arrest people. That's all I need to know. I can't call them up every day and ask them what they're doing. Boy, I know they're ch ch chasing murderers around. I don't know. Let's see if this TELO goes through the $15 spoof and see what happens here. You know, a lot of times in names like this, when people see a pop, it brings in new short sellers who want to short into it. And when they don't go down, the old short is covering, the new shorts are coming in. And a lot of times the old short runs over the new shorts and then it just begins to. It triples in size all of a sudden. The short, so you know this could be, this could be gaining uh, because the guys that are shorting it here now could be in a panic. Shortly, you get you know you bring more people into it now. They all say the same thing. What's this thing? What's it up? You know, we all say the same thing. Anything else? No. 
All right, then I'm going to leave you on that note and good luck. And I, I recapped everything I could possibly recap. Not legal advice tells you to eat his shorts. Eat his shorts. Oh, yeah. I think I, I think I, have. I, got that, I got that rotten taste in my mouth. Yes, I have eaten those shorts. Cowabunga. But, getting, but, it, but it's going to turn all roses soon. I'm, I'm confident about what we're doing here. You know, and I'm glad that we, uh, I'm glad that we raised the capital to get out of this place and go try to make a really make a swing for the fence talk, this year. Talk, and stop this game before you book the dates. Talk to me. We'll, we'll make sure. Um, uh, Listen, if you can't make it, I'll find a guy named Bill to come with me. Or well, with I'll, somebody will come I'll with make me. it. I'll make it. Uh, I just no um, might be in Las Vegas on short notice. Anyway, it doesn't matter what if if. If you book first, I'll tell you know. Anyway, I just want to make it just a little juggling. Meet some investors in Las Vegas. That's no uh, problem. Good. But again, like I said, uh, and you're welcome to well, join if we if we. All right, it's uh, okay. three eleven. Have a good day. Listen, I don't want you to be combative with anybody in the phone. I'm not. I'm. Up. I'm going to sign off in forty five minutes. And if That's anyone it. put a timeline on it, end it at twelve. And see you later. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, Sam. All right. Have a good day. All right. Bye. Thank you. Call ended. All right. Um, it's halted again. <laughs> anyway, I, I was saying quickly, and I'll try to finish up without being, uh, without being, uh, I mean, I'm I'm not capable of being religious. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I felt very um, lucky to be at Mass today and to be at the Cathedral of Saint Matthew's with Bishop Gregory um, giving Mass, and uh, the story is basically. During those 40 days, um, Christ had to battle the devil, basically. He had to battle Satan. And uh, temptation and all that. Anyway, so I, it got me thinking that what we're doing is we're fighting. You know, we're, what we're fighting is evil. And for people to be giggling and gleeful and uh, uh, taking advantage when they know retail's buying a stock, they push it down and they're they're proud of it. It's just very evil action. And uh, so in a way, we have to persevere. So I'm going to, I don't know when we're going to win or what it means to win. But hopefully this, uh, we call it Lent, or hopefully this 40 days we can make some progress and, and at least pray for a breakthrough, pray for, for help in it, and maybe we can get a breakthrough. Uh, um, that's what we need. We need... We need uh, Gary Gensler's heart to melt and become open to solving in, uh, individuals' problems. <laughs> it seems like a long shot, but maybe we pray about it. We need Adina Friedman to have her cold heart, her cold brain warmed up so that she loses her indifference. She's got a nice, comfortable life for $28 million a year. Maybe it's time for her to start thinking about where she came from. Just think about the women out there. Don't think about the men. Men are the great oppressors, you know, particularly white men. They're the oppressors, not white women. So just look out for the women, Adina. There's, do you know, Adina Friedman, that in the United States of America, women own more wealth than men. Women own more wealth than men in the, in the, in, in the stock market anyway, uh, than, than men. 
<laughs> Don't you think you should look out for women, Adina Friedman? Anyway, let's pray that she can she can do it. Wow. I went M Casey. I went through, I don't go with all that fanfare posting pictures on uh, Twitter. I didn't take pictures. But um, when I visited Senator Kennedy, wh whose office I visited, I believe, three times, he's got a big gator in there or it's a something or other. And he's got an absolutely wonderful legislative aid. But one time when I was standing there, Bernie Sanders went in the back door of Bernie Sanders' office, and I waved, I, and and uh, he said in his deep voice, hello, and I said, hi, Senator, to Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I was just saying that I'm going to walk across that line and meet. Well, it's actually uh, Valentine's Day, too. Who administers the halts? Well, the halt, uh, yeah, exactly. It's, it's collusion. But the halts are supposedly to keep an orderly market. Halts used to come from... Uh, you know, there, you had specialists and they, all that bid and ask you see, they would handle that and the orders would get out of control and they'd stop while they basically matched their orders and then made sure everything was uh, accurate and then they'd open it back up. Now I think it's all done for uh, fraud. Yeah, I don't know how it can stop like that. I think there's a big problem. I can't see the size on my, I see 20 by, I see a 20 bid by 1490 ask. That doesn't make any sense. It's going to go higher. It's going to run back up, in my opinion. Oh. Well, there's another David. Um, I see yours is blue. So, sorry, David. <laughs> I couldn't tell one David from the other David. But sorry, I won't make that mistake again. What's on my forehead? That is uh, ashes. And as... as um, Bishop Gregory said, one day a year, uh, that's our brand as Catholics, that people around the world know that you're a Catholic when you, when you have that, just like Amazon has its trucks or McDonald's has its arches. But it's, it's kind of contradictory to the opening uh, reading, which is every year, it's about how you shouldn't um, give alms in public and brag about it to everyone because then you get your rewards here. You don't get your reward in heaven. I kind of believe you shouldn't be expecting a reward anyway. But um, you're supposed to do your alms giving, your praying, your your um, you know your acts, your your works of faith without calling attention to it. Otherwise, the hypocrites call attention to it. And then <laughs> later on the Mass, we get this. And it's like we're out there calling attention to it. But what they, what the bishop explained, and it's explained in, you know, every year, is this is... Um, Ashes, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. This is a reminder that we're going to be dust. We're going to be ashes. And uh, 
but it also it it's also the beginning of the Lenten period where apparently we're supposed to fast, we're supposed to uh, give to charity, um, and we're supposed to basically try to be good and uh, try to fight our temptations and our sins. I don't know. It all seems much bigger than what one person can do. But like I said earlier, I felt today, I really felt um, blessed to be able to go to that mass and be there. It's a beautiful cathedral. And um, not everybody gets a chance to go. And uh, I was thankful that my father uh, always went. And he never said, you have to come with me, except when we were little. But he always went. He always invited. And he always, uh, he almost became a priest until he met my mother. But he was always a good man about, you know, I remember him when he was younger, staying after Mass to fold the chairs or to help the priest. I, I One Lenten period, um, I found out he, he was teaching here in, in D.C. while he ran the National War College. He was the senior civilian at the National War College. He was teaching a young boy uh, every week or more than once a week. I, I forget. But he was teaching him how to read and write. And he never told Aunt me about it, anybody, but he had been doing it for a few months. Anyway, I was thankful today that he and, and the rest of my family had been such good examples. And that, um, because that's the other reading, even now, even now, you can turn to the Lord is what it says. And I'm not trying to proselytize. I'm just talking about myself. It, it's, it, it, I was just very thankful that that avenue of uh, faith is there for me. And uh, I haven't taken advantage of it. So anyway, I was really grateful to be there today, Ramon. <laughs> but that's what that is. I, I don't know why it has to be such a... Uh, I don't think it's meant that way. But, it, but, but you could read it as a bulletin board or a bragging, you know, about being Catholic. I, it's not that... It, when they talk to you about it, it's not meant that way at all. It's meant to humble. It's supposed to make us humble to be, as he said, an ambassador for Christ, which I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, all faiths have, it's God. It's an ambassador for God. I'm not saying, um, I'm not proselytizing, but uh it's meant to keep you humble, to remind you that, that what's here on this world passes away. Uh, anyway, it's not meant anything but to sort of uh, suppress your ego and make you think about, in our case, what happened on the cross in, in any faith. It makes people think about why we're here, what's next, you know, those things. <laughs> Thank you, Bill Cooper. I'll go get a $2 bill. Yeah, I hate these crooks. Yeah, Rocket Man. All right, let's go back to the bottom. Let's see where it's trading now. It's so weird. I see a bid for, I see it trading. 
I see a bid for fifteen sixty nine and an ask of fourteen ninety. Doesn't make any sense. There it is. It's trading at sixteen. That's right. That's shaking around. I'm not trying to preach, really. I'm just. Um, I don't. I don't have the blessing through my own fault. I, I don't have the blessing of children. And I don't really right now in my life, I don't really have a lot of people in my life. I um, So I guess I think men, men basically have four roles uh, to lead, to protect, to provide, and to mentor. And um, women are given the best role of all, all. They bring life into this world. And they get they know how to nurture. Although I've seen uh, I didn't get I didn't get to speak at my father's funeral. Uh, I'm the I'm his eldest son, but I didn't get to speak because um, you know, my parents divorced. and uh, my mother rejected the faith, and I would have to I would have to agree or at least understand her point of view that it's a very difficult faith for a woman. And I, looking back on it, I think my mother was, I never thought so, you know, but, it, you know, she's pretty active feminist. On the other hand, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think today's feminism has gone completely out of kilter, but, um, I forget what I was going to say about that. It's just that uh, I'm not really preaching. I just, I had a, because my mother rejected the faith, I grew up feeling a little bit um, ostracized and as if I didn't really know what, the Catholic faith was. I went to two years of Catholic school, went to Blessed Sacrament up here in uh, D.C., and I went to um, St. Thomas More. either, I think it was my first grade, but it might have been kindergarten, but I think it was first grade. And, uh, and I was confirmed um, I want to say I was confirmed in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, but that can't be possible. But I think I was. I think that's where I was confirmed. But that, you know, our family was still together and my dad was still um, directing those things. Maybe that's why I feel grateful now to be able to go. But anyway, it's... It's, uh, I don't like, and he said it today, he said this is his blood which he shed for you and for many. It used to be that he shed for you and for all men, but the German Pope changed it. And my sister says, well, there's a gospel that says it that way. And I'm like, well, I, <laughs> Catholic is universal. It's for everybody, believers and non-believers. It's for everybody. I don't think any of us are more special than the other. The flip side of that is I don't think anybody is less than any other. 
All right, let's look. Uh, T-E-L-O is 1442. Somebody asked me about C-A-U-D. Um, that is starting to pick up. I believe, and I, I went through it yesterday, but I believe, you know, it's very small um, float. I believe it was uh, Aubrey Advisors who destroyed CAUD. -C That's just my opinion. Otherwise, they're an amateur group of guys and women. They did, they've done over 100 of these. But they, maybe it was their client, Polar, that did it and they didn't have any knowledge. But they didn't protect CAUD. And I think that's at least malpractice. Anyway, the stock got crushed by short selling. Illegal counterfeit shares sold short. That's my opinion. And I, I, to me, it's plain as, as the nose on my face. Um, and I have a plain nose. But um, I think we're on the verge of hearing of a acquisition or or maybe it's more of a merger with at least one maybe several companies but i think it'll just be at least one i would expect based on the way those companies were described in the open when by interview when um the transaction was still logic if I were doing it, I would target the company that had earnings and cash flow and maybe some cash on the books. So I, I expect a transformational uh, roll-up of a company that w who will probably have cash. And then the criminals will know for a fact that they're never turning back to Aubrey Advisors or Shadron placement agents. And I think you could see this stock could go to 25 in a heartbeat, but they are fighting it. And the financing has been onerous. And I, if I recall, Polar is like an $8 billion hedge fund. That's a lot of selling power when they start counterfeiting. Of course, I can't prove, you know, you can't prove anything. Oh, you can't prove it. Well, okay. It's right there in front of your eyes. but. Um, Anyway, that's what I think. I think we're about to hear some good news on CAUD. I also have heard a a really uh, uh, old line uh, institutional fund is buying CAUD and buying it in size. So that might be good. Cliff, let me find that. Um, Let me find that. I don't see that news. But I can tell you that the British Columbia Golden Triangle is where, um, now I'm going to forget the darn name of the company. It begins with a P. Predium? Predium? Anyway, it's where one little gold company went from next to nothing and they drilled uh, hole 84. I'll have I'll I'll look it up for the next call. And all of a sudden the stock was $84. And uh it's where the volcanoes are where the I think there's a little bit of tectonic movement too, but you're right. It is the golden triangle for gold, silver, and other um, other assets. So they're putting it into a digital asset token. I like this guy. 
they, it, I've given a lot of thought to how I would start a company. I'm not in a position to do it. I, well, I'm trying to set up the pieces. But one of the things, that's exactly what I was thinking I would do, was set up a, a token for, because a company I set up will probably be in the resource area more than any other place. Well, the one, uh, I didn't see that. Let me see if I can find that news. Um, gosh, I can't find, uh, here we go. Here we go. Um, I mean, it's, yep, shooter at Chiefs Parade. Um, you know, they always blame the shooting on MAGA white men, you know, white supremacists. I don't know. Maybe it happens that way sometimes. But it it seems like all human beings have the capacity to do these evil things. And... Whatever side of the political aisle you're on, to open up the borders on both all sides, coming in from the ocean, coming in from Canada, coming in from Mexico, to any country in the world can send anyone here and we don't screen them. Personally, I worry about disease because <laughs> we've been blessed in North America to not have to deal with smallpox, not have to really deal with malaria, which I know has nothing to do with the human being as much as it does with mosquitoes and temperatures. Um, we haven't had to deal with uh, leprosy too much. Um, uh, anyway, a bunch of things. But who cares? Just open them up just because um, I don't know what the reasoning is. And then I would imagine these these gangs who have come into New York and are killing, those weren't the best people. And I, I saw an interview where the, or a, a story where the Escobar sons are coming in. And they're, they, they, they kind of want revenge. And then it's drugs and it's, I don't know, can we really run a country, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, can we run a country when in the span of three years, we let in more people without assimilation, without screening, without anything, bigger than most states? One number I heard, it's bigger than New York City for sure, but it, I'm trying to remember the biggest state it was bigger than. I don't I think New York state is still bigger than the influx. But anyway, it says here Kansas City's chief parade shooting, multiple people shot in Union Station. Wow. Oh, and the guy they've they've arrested doesn't look like a white supremacist. Oh, that's terrible. That's just terrible. I think they're gonna I think there's a risk of more of these false flags, if you want to call them that, or these incitements to divide us so that we pull the lever for Biden. And I think we've got to resist being divided. Thank you, Barbara. Thanks for listening.
when finger makes the run are we at the risk of this? yeah sure they'll halt it i don't uh scott i don't think you should assume i don't think you should assume that it's over with for zjyl they've got it down now to oh it's not showing up around nine bucks uh, but it doesn't mean it's over. It just means by selling more fake shares, they got it down. But I, that doesn't solve their problem. It is a little weird that it goes to 30 and, and those higher numbers you guys are saying, and they halt trading and nothing gets printed up there. It seems really unfair. But remember, the system is set up for the criminals everything is set up for the criminals. That's why they gleefully laugh and joke and join in and giggle. They giggle like little girls and they love to jump all over people who were trying. I, I don't know how they live with themselves. All right, it's 341Z close at 88. Um, well, you should know, kitties, that, and I think it's a fair, it's something you have to be aware of. Some people here make America great again as going back to a time where America wasn't all that great for some people. So you just got to understand that it co comes across that way sometimes. I don't think that's the intent of it. Uh, when I went, I flew to the Middle East for a wedding I was honored to be part of. I brought 20 or 25 of those caps with me, MAGA caps. I bought like f five or six. And then I'm at the train station going to the airport. And I thought, wait a minute, what if more people want them? So I went, I found a store. I got. I ended up with like two dozen of them. When I showed up, I wore one. That first night, everybody wanted one. Everybody wanted one. They're all gone first night. I didn't even bring enough. Finger is not OTC. That's, you know, that's funny, Spock. Um, to my ears, to my life, it is. But you are technically correct. NASDAQ used to be the queen of the over-the-counter markets. And then you had over-the-counter. Then you had pink sheets. And it was basically as simple as that. Now it's all, all different. Yeah, there was a migrant invested, or three of them, that fled west. Um, fingers. Yeah, I think ZJYL is next. It's happening right now. <laughs> but I mean, it's you're frustrated, obviously. I am too. It's broken down. Uh, well, no, actually, it's not. It's I'm looking at it. It's 875. I'm confusing it with TLO. TLO's broken down to 13. But um, uh, ZJYL at basically nine is just under nine dollars. It hasn't. Yeah, I think it's next. I think it's happening. Uh, people think fingers getting ready to go. It might be. Might be. Yes. Logic is a shell, has 147 million shares. Logic was the parent company of Data Logic. Uh, Logic entered in on the advice of Shadan, S H A D, Shandron advisors, Aubrey advisors, and maybe the Brownstone Group. They entered into a, a SPAC. Aubrey SPAC 
screw the pooch and the public really badly this time, uh, trust to LLC. And uh, uh, it's been contemplated for well over a year that at, as soon as that DSPAC occurred, which is the complete, the totality, except for one equity position, of Logic's earnings, business, everything goes over to Aubrey SPAC, Logic is going to be sold as a reverse merger. Now, Aubrey SPAC disastrously handled the DSPAC at a minimum. And in my opinion, intentionally, intentionally set it up so their client Polar and the other one could destroy the market cap, stealing over 100 million, maybe 200 million out of the market. That's my opinion, my judgment. That's what I saw. It happened just like that. Well, part of that, they sold off Logic as well. Now, there's probably some real sellers of Logic because Logic went from being a company to being just a shell. But I also think there was some criminal selling in Logic. And um, one, of the, one of the impacts, one of the results of the disastrous Aubrey Advisors-led SPAC and DSPAC, and if you're a CEO out there, I am warning you, don't do business with Aubrey Advisors. But they've done over 100 of them, so I must be wrong. Um, one of the, the casualties of that was the immediate closing of the reverse merger. As you can well imagine, all the principles involved in that cluster uh, screw up got distracted fighting everything. So it's now instead of November, December, January, it's now February. Is it still looking for a reverse merger? What do you think the answer is? Uh, we didn't do it in November. We didn't do it in December. Let's just walk away. Uh, let's just not do it. Doesn't make sense. Um, uh, the principals, the, the large shareholders are still the largest shareholders of Logic. And they want to monetize that asset. And you've seen a lot of reverse mergers. You saw it with uh, companies that range from, from uh, I, I can't think of all of them, but MMAT did, what, did a reverse merger into Torchlight and change the name. But it's not happening. So the stock gets sold down, the, the bullies sell it down, and I guess the shorts just figure, well, it hasn't happened yet. I guess it's not going to happen. Logic's going to merge, be a reverse merger in a company I think is going to be uh, 600 million or more, but using 400 million as the reverse merger candidate, the agreement will be that we get 10 to 15 to 20 percent of that company because there's more than one uh, company that was interested in reverse mergering. I'm using 15 percent. It could be less than that. I don't know. It, but this could be more, so whatever. That's $60 million worth of stock that's going to go to Logic as a, as shareholders. They're going to try to, uh, what I hear, is they're going to reduce the outstanding shares 
from 147 million to below 100 million. I just hear it. I don't have the information. So that gives you a 60 cent target. Now, they're going to simultaneously do a reverse merger, and that'll help the shorts out. That'll allow the shorts to take a lot of money out of their trades on the one hand. But on the other hand, hopefully, and I'm going to assume... Um, it's a fifty. It's a one for fifty. And I would guess at um, fifteen percent. Well, let me just do the arithmetic. Um, I'm going to assume... Something like that. There'll be, it, I'm hoping it's a New York Stock Exchange company, could be NASDAQ, $30 a share, 13 million, 15 million in the float. And it'll have, I, I believe, it'll have revenues and earnings. So it should have revenues and earnings, or at least uh, really strong projections in the near future of revenues and earnings. And my hope, and I believe it, I misspelled it, but whatever. Um, you're going to have institutions in there and research and buying and supporting, and you're going to have the short sellers over here trying to short it down, but they're going to have no luck because they're going to run up against huge buying. That's what I think is going to happen. So you have a $30 stock and, uh, you know, you, the only, the only, there's basically three risks. One is, are the revenue projections, is the valuation believable? That's one risk. Two is, uh, does the new CEO turn to Jeff Easton and get lied to and get destroyed? I don't think so. I don't think so. And, um, uh, I, that's I, I think that's about that's about the only couple of risks. There might be restriction period. That's another thing. So you you would want to get out maybe before uh, the record date. But where could the stock trade if it's announced? If it's announced as a definitive deal, binding. I think logic could go very close to that sixty cents number. It could go higher if they're short covering, but we'll see. If it's if it's announced as a deal that's all signed, but it's waiting for an audit or it's waiting for Godot, it it might not trade 
up to 40 or 50 cents. It might trade at a lower level. If it's a deal that seems to involve, I don't know, six months, nine months, a year of time, the criminals will try to scare you out. But you'll have to make the decision. Do I want to stay with this for a year or do I want out? And the key here is to me, it's a trade. Um, I, unless it's the most compelling story in the world to stay in it, and it might be a buck or two bucks if you wait. Um, you're right now the stock's uh, basically three dollars to point oh two seven three cents. I mean three cents. Um, you know, if it goes to six cents, you doubled your money. If it goes to nine, triple. If it goes to 21, 7x, 21 cents, you know, I, I, I wouldn't be greedy on it, you know. And uh, uh, I didn't get a chance to look up HNRC. That's now in the red, but that was having a nice move. T Lowe's at 12. It's not a lot of volume. It's only 600,000 shares. Maybe they crossed everything, you know? Maybe it was all, they halted it and they made a lot of phone calls and they crossed it. I don't know. They're not my numbers, Ramon. Um, I didn't make up those numbers. The ZJYL story is there's a million a million three in the float and a group of whales out of Southeast Asia basically bought the float, 1.3 million. They're trying to get half a million shares delivered to them from, I think, IBKR, and, the, and it hasn't happened. Their next step is to sue for that. Also, there was just uh processed a 20 for one forward split it was effective i think last thursday i'm i'm if i'm wrong it was a day before or day after it that's still coursing through the back offices the rumor was 10 million shares pre-split short with a volume weighted average price of around 20 25 dollars so they're way underwater if that information is true. Now they have, if that number's right, 200 million shares short. The back offices are digesting it. Basically, uh, for me, Friday morning, I couldn't trade the stock. And then during the day after I called, well, you should be able to now. So basically Friday, Monday, Tuesday, now it's Wednesday, four days. The back offices are processing this. Well, think it through. You're dealing with brokers, best clients. And on a Monday morning, hey, this just went through. We've got to take care of this. We got to buy in your client. No, 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 no. Let me talk to my client. We'll get it done. And that's happening over the weekend, every single day. The criminals are trying to move stock around. They're trying to get out of their trouble. But the trouble's there. And and uh, when does the buy-in come, Ramon? Obviously not soon enough for you. But I would guess... It could still come tomorrow. It could come Friday. It could be next week. It could be six weeks from now. But the problem hasn't gone away. So I, I um, believe it's going to happen. And in terms of the entire float is owned with people that are on your side. And they own a ton of stock more than you or I do. Um, one of those gentlemen 
has a representative, has a friend who I spoke with, I believe it was two weekends ago, and he was so pumped up. He said post-split, it could go to $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 a share. These guys believe it's going to go to the moon. It's not my numbers. That's what they're saying. Now, uh, in life, you have to take risks sometimes to make money. This setup has the proper risk reward. But it doesn't mean it's going to happen. It doesn't mean that it's going to go to four or 5,000 a share. So as it breaks out above 15 and maybe gets above 30, which was the previous high, 2750 roughly, I would, I would, I think above 15, it, it could, or 16, it could really run. And if it gets through that 27, 50, 28, you could see huge numbers. But would they halt trading? Will they play with it? I don't know. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be holding all of your stock for a couple of thousand. That's prior to the split. A couple of thousand would be 40 grand. And that was actually that's actually a little bit higher than the highest number I heard pre-split. What I heard is it could go 25, 30, 40,000. 30, sorry, 35,000. Well, when I talked to that gentleman, the whales are so excited that post-split, it can go into thousands of dollars, not two, three, four, higher. But it's not my numbers. We're just we're just seeing what happens here with a forward split, clearly with a short that's bigger than the float and longs that own the float and longs that are trying to make life difficult for the short. Yes, I think it it's it's going to go high. Yes, I think it's going to be the next one to trade. Blue blue uh star loves uh, Blue Airlines. Let's see what MMAT is doing. By the way, Donald Trump didn't say bigly. He said big league, big league. The mainstream media is trying to make him look dumb. He said big league, not bigly. Um, I, I can't find the news. I can't remember what the split was. Was it 35, one for 35? Anyway, I don't think it's a big move. I think it's a reflect, reflective bounce. No, I didn't. I didn't make a joke. There it was, Anacott Steel. He knew what I was. I was making a uh, a joke on that. Um, Anacott Steel. Did I get some of that market on my forehead? No, that's um, today is Ash Wednesday, and that's ashes from Ash Wednesday. Uh, Mass.
Um, I don't think NYCB will stop trading as much as it'll be essentially worthless. Shareholders will get wiped out. Hey, John, how are you? It's sunny here, but it's cold. What's the latest on small and regional banks? Um, I don't think it looks very good for the regional banks. Um, regional banks are typically in the local communities where a lot of commercial real estate loans lie. And that's where that's the toughest part right now. Um, there might be a conspiracy where JP Morgan just gets bigger and bigger because as long as the argument is we've got to stop a bank run. They come rescue the bank. They give the good assets to Jamie Dimon, the bad assets to the taxpayer, and life goes on. But um, uh, regional banks used to be a strong sector. I, I would avoid them as an investment um, unless you know what you're doing. Um, It's, it's not a very safe area to invest in. The numbers are confusing on ZJYL. It could go to 150. 150 would be um, 30, no, it would be uh, 3,000 pre-split, pre-split. It doesn't matter what stock will rip. They always are halted to bring it down. We can't win. Well, I don't know. AMC went up. GME went up. Uh, Halo or whatever went up last week. Uh, I don't, I mean, you could be right, but I don't think uh, ZJYL's move is over. I don't think Telo's move is over, but it could be. They might have organized to cross the trades and, Issue more stock with the company. We'll find out later. And maybe that's the extent of the run. It's still 11 bucks. If you bought it at five or six, you had you had all afternoon to double your money. It's pretty darn good. All right, let me go to the bottom. I'll, I don't have trading view, but I'll try to get it. Um, my problem isn't having trading view. It's this computer. It's, it'll freeze if I try to do too much, but I'll, I like that idea. Um, well, I don't understand Joe Biden's energy policy. I think it's there's a lot of women running his uh, government, and the men are woke and simps. And in general, I think there's this idea that as a country, we're going to move from uh, so called fossil fuels to magical electric energy. Well, most electric energy comes from, in our country anyway, uh, I think 20% comes from coal, <laughs> which is the dirtiest one out there. And I think 20% comes from nuclear power. Um, and then there's quite a bit that comes from oil. So, 
it's just not realistic that we're going to be off of hydrocarbons. Scott, I'd have to ask some friends, but to me, it, it means gas, natural gas prices are going to be under pressure for a long, long time. I sat with the CEO one time, twice, um, pretty famous company, famous guy. And he told me that uh, natural gas for the, 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 this was two or three years ago, four years ago, natural gas for the foreseeable future is going to have a hard time getting above even $2, but not higher than 3 4 or $5. And it'll come back down simply because we have so much natural gas behind pipe. And then Biden restricts us from exporting it. That To me, that means gas prices are going to stay low. Now, I will admit that I'd rather we didn't export on a, on a policy level, on an investor level, an oil guy's level, you got to export so we, we can, uh, you know, make the profits. But I'm more of a peak oil guy. Not many, not many are anymore. And I think natural gas is the cleanest burning source of energy out there. It's the cleanest. There isn't a better one. Best one we know. And uh, I, I, I'd love to keep the natural gas in North America so we're assured of our own economic growth and our own warm houses in the winter and, uh, and national defense. But, you know, we'd probably have to have some sort of national railroad commission to make sure that prices stay strong. But anyway, uh, those are my thoughts. I think natural gas prices are gonna be under pressure. Well, he wears an elegant suit. I had a friend who, uh, that's why she voted for him. He's an elegant man. It would take a lot of conversion, but it's out there. You know, here in DC, they did natural gas buses and then the lobbyists came in, and the next order was diesel buses. We're blessed with a lot of natural gas. You know, when they when they found oil in Kansas and in Wyoming and, and parts of Texas, they flared off the gas. What a stupidity. Yeah. <laughs> he says that too. That's terrible. It's just terrible. We're going to start feeling less safe in North America, and then we're going to start turning on each other. And uh, we can go down that road, but I really don't think we should. I think we should, as people, recognize what certain elites and our government, certain parts of our government, certain parts of uh, particularly one political party are trying to do. I think we should stick together. We flare so much natural gas. I, I It makes me sick when I think about it because someday, Scott, a uh, grandchild is going to look up at a mother and say, why, why, why don't we drive cars anymore, mommy? What happened to all the oil? We burned it all. Um, I don't know 
any right off the top of my head. I think um, I think Anand Darko. Uh, sorry, not Anand Darko. Apache. Apache looks great. Any oil company that's in the eighty dollar, eighty eight dollar range will go to a hundred. Um, I like Carrizo, but I haven't looked at it lately. I used to like Contango, but I don't know what they're doing. Um, the, any smaller oil and gas company in the Permian is going to get bought out. It's going to get bought out. Uh, we're late in this cycle, and I, it angers me so much because investors, for some reasons, and then just for being human, wouldn't listen to me. And, and I just saw deals just go, go, go. And it was so obvious. But there's still quite a few smaller companies who have been crushed by uh, shorts, believe it or not. Um, I liked this HNRA. HNRA. Let's see where it's trading. Yeah, it's two dollars. It was a spec, and the criminals, whoever did theirs, drove it down. And now they're raising, they're selling seventeen million shares around here. And it's too bad because the upside on HNRA, if they had just grown, they developed it out of their own cash flows, was close to sixty dollars a share. But now I think the upside side is twelve to fifteen dollars a share. So I like that one. It's safe. I think that's safe. After they finish this raise, I think that's safe. I like HNRC, but um, uh, there's some skepticism there. They have they have a value of two dollars and thirty two cents NAV. They've published, and it's trading at two and a half cents. So I like that. Um, I, I missed the conference last year that I normally go to, and I didn't go to NAEP this year. So I, I don't have a lot of ideas just percolating, percolating in my head, but I'll try to get those. I'll try to get those. Um, I couldn't go last year because my dog was, literally, if I had left, they would have put the dog down. They would have killed it. They, I, I couldn't leave the dog with anyone and luckily he's recovered but so i'm sorry i don't have more names my goal lewis is to get you guys looking at precious metals and oil and gas uh there's a couple of there's a couple of royalty plays that there's about three or four of them that range from eight percent to twelve percent i like those for portfolios um but I'll get a better answer for you. I'm sorry you're catching me. I haven't really um, uh, studied it uh, recently. I look older than Jason Bateman. I guess that's either a compliment or a, or a, Fang's a good one. Fang's a good one. Um, Let me see where it's trading. I, I should say it used to be a good one, but let me see where it's trading. Hmm. So it's trading near its high, which is actually pretty good to be trading near your high. So it's already run. I like I like that. I like Fang. Uh, it's always been good. It's bigger. It's bigger than most companies I I follow. But yeah, I like Fang. Let Let me look what Apache's trading for. It's not called Apache anymore. It's called APA. Uh, Twenty nine thirty. Yeah, I like that one. I don't know why it's off. Maybe it's because of the tensions in the Middle East. Um, 
And then your standards. Um, you know, your big, your big oil companies are still worth buying too. That's very nice, Robert. That's very nice. I need that. Um, oh, they just did a deal. I don't see it. My screen's changed. I don't quite know how to use it. But anyway, um, I think Fang's a good company. Uh, there's so many. I, I personally believe oil prices are going much higher. I would be more focused on oil just because of what I said about natural gas. But if we go to war, which looks like we are to protect our financial system and to make sure Biden gets reelected so that Samantha Power and Victoria Newland and uh, uh, other women in charge can prove the old adage that the reason we have war is because men are leaders. And if we just had women as leaders, we wouldn't have war. Bunch of hogwash, as it turns out. Indo, yeah, I like Indo. Thanks. Indo, look, right here. I went just by chance. Thank you for reminding me. I went to see the Indo presentation up in Atlantic City, and I was I was impressed with that. And I want to study that. They are in uh, fields that majors would be in, and then they either sell the field or sell the whole company. I don't know IMPP. That sounds like a bad. Uh, uh, bad joke, IMPP. Um, yeah, I, I if one of these trades move, HNRA, HNRA is on my list to buy and hold because I think it'll go to 10. Um, is that true? You can't buy a gas-fired car, not a uh, gasoline? That's ridiculous. Well, one of the problems of it being burnt off is um instead of capping off those wells and and uh it might have happened anyway if you produced it but a lot of there's a lot of oil in the ground with no energy you can't get out so you need the ter secondary tertiary and there's even further methods of getting it out Bless you, my son. Yeah, I know um, that's true, but but I think in Texas, natural gas prices are really low. Let me see if there's if they give a one price. I don't know if they do. $2.84. That's that's better than when uh, my name is Jimmy Cotto was in office. 
I don't know what the finding and lifting costs in Texas, and it varies from field to field. And if it's just an if it's an extra, and you're making your money on oil, two eighty four can be pretty good. But it sounds low to me. That's it. Blue horseshoe loves Anacot. Deal. Oh, it's a hundred to one. So at four. God, that's not very good. I'd be careful of these rally backs because they suck you in and then they inexorably, they drive it back down. All right, let me go to the bottom. I'm going to finish here and I'm, this might be it. Um, Indo and M alongside... All right, let me write all of those down, Brian. Let me write them all down. And I'll try to learn about them. What you have to know is... Nobody invests in oil and gas anymore. Uh, Fidelity and those that uh, any pool of money that's run by young women uh, can't do it. We're gonna we're gonna be out of. Yeah, I don't know what they learn in school, but they're not gonna invest in oil and gas. I have a friend offshore who told me if you find any companies looking to be bought out, we have a fund that'll buy them. Anything you can bring anything to us except oil and gas. It's like, but the flip side of that, when they change their minds, there's going to be a wall of money coming in that'll run run these things up. Yeah, they run at the same time. Dad bets book value is off the chart. Well, the book values, if you're talking oil and gas, the book values can be higher than the stock prices. So I'm at two to one and then a hundred to one. I don't trust the stock price of MMAT either. Any substantive thoughts on HNRC's PR? I didn't see it. <laughs> Let me go find it. I looked for it. I looked for it. Let me look on OTC markets. It just doesn't, I guess it just doesn't show up where I looked. I probably just have bullshit comments instead of substantive thoughts, but let me see. Let's just read it. I, I'm not going to print it out, but you're right. It came out today. Houston Natural Resources Corp. is thrilled to announce a groundbreaking milestone in its strategic journey towards the digital economy. HNRC has successfully endorsed, endorsed the transformation of its 9% holding in Cunningham Mining, located in Canada's prestigious BC Golden Triangle into a pioneering digital asset token. With this bold move, HNRC is poised to participate in revolutionizing the mining industry by harnessing the power of digital technology. The Nugget Trap Placer claim, a renowned mining site will undergo a transformative process, <clears throat> it's in Canada, which will propel it into the digital realm, opening new avenues of opportunity and growth. I love it. That's not a sub substantive thought, but I love it. I like, I would do this with a company I set up. And I, in fact, I discussed it <clears throat> 
uh, about a year ago with someone in, in a lot of detail. I'm just not in the play. I love this. Conversion will unlock multitude of benefits, leverage the power of blockchain, which will ensure transparency, security, and efficiency. I love it. Brian Cunningham. It's not a very substantive thought, but I, I think it's great. Um, I also think the, um, I'll try to have more substantive thoughts for you tomorrow, but I also think that golden triangle's the place to be. And uh, so I like it. Imperial. All right. Um, No, I didn't talk about RCRT. I think something is coming with RCRT, Upsoft. Um, I think it could come this week. I mentioned that, I don't know, yesterday or whatever. But I don't know what it is. I mean, I got to... Um, yeah, that's a nice day, 221. Yeah. I think there's going to be good good news in our CRT. As you recall, uh, GoLogic is distributing its assets. Well, not all of its asset, but its main asset to our CRT in a reverse merger. And uh, it was all approved. The short sold it down. But yeah, I don't know. I don't have any details. So we'll know more if there's an announcement. But as I said either yesterday or day before, I think it's time to start at least having it on our radar, RCRT and GoLogic. Bets? All right. Two eighty, it's up twenty eight cents. Wow, a high of one thousand eight hundred and ninety on the year in December. Since then, it looks it looks terrible. Um, so it's Bitcoin. Bit brother. I don't know anything about it, Southern Comfort. I'll um, have to look that one up too. Wow. Well, yeah, CoLogic and RCRT will be run, and I guess technically. No, they're not yet. But once the deal gets finalized, it's, you know, it's an 800, 850 million dollar asset. It's going to be moved from GoLogic to RCRT. And I think both will have the same CEO, which is Brent Sun. Look at the book value. Okay. I'll just, I'll have to do that tonight. I can't. I will, I'll, I'll be able to talk about that one better. Yeah, 3 million for my, yeah, the shorts destroy everything. But hopefully, actually, as Brent Sun said to us on an interview, we as retail can make a difference. We can act together, but we have to do it legally. Um, we can't collude and, and manipulate, but we can act together. We can expose some of this. If one breaks, that's what they're scared of. If one breaks, 
Imagine if we collectively started with a million dollars and in a run, it turned into 25 million. And then we went with 15 million of it into the next stock. And for some reason that ran, turned into 150 million. They'd be scared of us. We'd be our own wrecking ball. All right, so... I'm going to I'm going to sign off just cuz I really haven't eaten. I had a I had a danish and uh I want to do some of this stuff I said I would, but I I guess I just want to get off while I'm in a good a good mood. Um I don't want um to be affected by the negative energy of these these shorts and there's a new filing on zjyl oh let's look for that it's southern comfort <laughs> thank you let's look at that filing if it's stock that won't be great that's what i'm worried about it'll be stock No, yeah, that's hard to read. Okay. Enrique. No, I said that wrong. Erky. Erky Wang. Citizen of China. Sole voting power of 107 million shares. Officially, own, officially owns 95 million shares. Then officially owns 12 million. British Virgin Islands. It's very hard to read for me. Um, what this is. looks like a uh, it's a 13g I don't see anything in this that changes the story Unless I'm missing something. I don't, I don't see where that changes the story very much. Um, unless I'm missing something, it's just a reflection of a extremely large percentage position in the company, which is the same story we've always, always had. Um, I've heard a few things on GTII, but it boils down to what I've been saying for a couple of months now, three months. Um, there's some palace intrigue going on. The company's uh, largest investors and in management need to make a decision. And once they do, uh, we'll know the direction of the company. But I don't, I haven't seen any news today. When did health ever buy wealth? TLO is down to 10, 14. Yeah, it doesn't have to stay down. But TLO. To me, TLO was 300, 400, 350,000 shares they shorted. They might have crossed it and covered it. That might, it might, that move might be over. So, but that's a nice trade. A T E R. You're not allowed to wear Spider Man faces. I'm just teasing. It looks good. Yeah, exactly. It's just, but I don't know if there was, what I was trying to read and I couldn't read 
if it's a change in ownership. I can't tell if it's a change in ownership. Um, but in any event, it's it sticks with the narrative that insiders own a big piece. They can't sell that. He can't sell that. I, that's what I was trying, having a hard time reading, Ramon, is did the, did he buy, basically, did he buy any? I, I didn't see that he did. So. All right, everyone. Uh, pray for peace worldwide, as Cardinal Gregory did. And uh, I wish each of you peace, love, and happiness. And on this day, wish somebody happy Valentine's Day. And we'll get together tomorrow. Good night, KYP. Happy Valentine's Day, KYP. Happy Valentine's Day. So, um, good night, everybody. <laughs>